hey, I'll be talking about the weaknesses of oral history. So if you haven't watched the other introductory or definition videos, um, go ahead and watch those probably, but do whatever. Um, there are mainly two big weaknesses to oral history. One is that you are not dealing with files or numbers or political records. You are dealing with people and you are hearing stories from people and people can lie. So because it is typically an interview happening between two individuals, um, the person being interviewed does have the choice to lie or dramatize, expand events, like minimize other details that you might find important. So in this situation, the person interviewing or preparing the questions really needs to think like like a lawyer, like a prosecutor. You want to get as much information, factual information out of your subject as you can, if you can, um, because there is the chance of information not being truthful because this is coming from a human source. Also, the person might not be consciously lying. Over time, memory can weaken. Um, if they think about an event a lot or the science of false memory, I will note, psychologically, very strange field of study. Um, I do suggest looking into it more if you'd like to, but mainly people can remember events wrong. This is typically not a knowledgeable thing, but if you imagine an event um, that maybe happened in your distant past a certain way and you want the outcome to have been this or or you maximize certain details and minimize others, a person's account of an event might not be as reliable as they think it is or as you think it is. Um, there's also, depending on the event that you're, res that you're researching, um, if you are the interviewer, you may find that resources are slim. If there are only one or two people there or if the people from a certain event have passed on, now we're reaching a certain point in history where we are unfortunately losing a lot of veterans from wars from the first half of the 1900s. And so oral historians are making an effort to interview these people and find out their stories. But because there are older individuals, there, there's that issue with memory loss, uh, remembering events differently, but also just on just not being able to give an interview or give information and so it is kind of like if you come across a recording keep it preserve it but if you are creating a recording depending on who you're interviewing there may be problems with um the accuracy of the information and then just the availability of people to gain that information from if you're specifically looking for eyewitnesses for an event or people highly educated on a certain occurrence